Hi there, I'm Mark Wade and welcome to Mark My Words. On this channel, we help people fast track a comeback from a serious life setback. So if you've been through a, a tough time and you've been through a setback in life, whether it be a relationship or long term, you know, relationship or financial setback, you've found the right channel. On this video today, I want to talk to you about the three essential things that you need to do that I needed to do to move on from my, in this case, a long term relationship breakdown. You know, your best days are ahead of you. And if you are, in my case, I'm in my mid 50s, if you're anywhere around that sort of age or younger, chances are there is uh, more sand in the top of your hourglass than there is in the bottom of your hourglass. So you want to make sure that sand that's left to fall through the hourglass, in other words, the days that are ahead of you, are your best days yet. So don't let your past setbacks determine the rest of your life. They were merely a life lesson, not going to shape and frame your future unless you allow them to. You know, some things when you've had a breakdown or a financial collapse will never be the same again. But the truth is you can make the best of your current situation, providing you do what I had to do, and that is three essential things to help you move on. Now, if you're if you're sitting there and you're going, Mark, I, I'm just, I'm lost right now. I, I've lost confidence. I've lost my, um, I'm second guessing everything. I used to make decisions on a regular basis and I could just make them all automatically every day. Now I second guess every single decision that I'm making. I, I'm, I'm finding myself locked in, 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 in past hurt, past unforgiveness, past pain, you know, trying to um, overcome my current situation is really, really difficult. So I understand exactly where you're at. In fact, if you're wrestling with uncertainty, it's, it's generally because um, you've been hurt, you're wounded, right? And that takes some time to heal. But there are some practical things you can do to fast track that process. And I want to share them with you today. This is the first video of 2021. So welcome to a new year. It's uh, interesting times, but I know that in your life, as it is in mine, I can only control what I can control. Same, same with you. You can only control what's inside your sphere of control or sphere of influence. You can decide that. There are many, many things at the moment in the world outside your sphere of influence. So make sure you're spending the majority of your time, over 80% of your time, focusing on what you can influence, what you can control and less than 20% or even less if you can, can being in that sphere of concern with areas of your life that you have no control over. You know, politics, economy, global stuff, that type of, that type of, that type of um, you know, information that's continually out there for us to chew on. But we have zero, zero influence over most of it. So to fast track your comeback, here's the thing. Control the controllables, which is number one in my fast track journey, right? Number one, control what you can. So decide what you can control, right? What is it that you that is in your circle of or sphere of, of control? What can you influence in your own life? You know, for example, you know, your mental health, your physical health, your diet, your nutrition. These are all things inside your control, right? There, there's other areas like the people in your world that mean the most to you that you do have connection with and, and, and you know relationship with make sure those relationships are as healthy as they can be these are things that you have control over and what you'll find is as you start to do that well control the controllables well it'll help you boost your confidence in other key areas of your life that you need to get right as well so control the controllables is number one number two is an important one and that is chances are you've had or you've been hurt by somebody, okay? It may have been a key relationship, a long-term relationship, a romantic relationship, an ex-wife, ex-husband, ex-partner. And that person now is no longer in your life for some reason. Now, there's a chance, every chance, in fact, that that person has done something wrong by you, said something, done something, etc., and you're carrying around hurt and pain and resentment towards that person. The second area to break free and to move on from your past and to fast track your future is to forgive that person. Now you say, well, Mark, they don't deserve my forgiveness. You know, you don't understand what they've done to me. 
I get it. I understand that it may have been unfair. It may have been uncalled for, and it may have been just downright nasty. But whilst you're carrying around that resentment and an unforgiveness, it's like a dead cat being dragged around behind you. Okay, so you've got to cut off that dead cat and forgive that person. So how do you do that? Well, it's a decision. It's simply a decision in your heart that you're going to forgive that person and let it go. So when you think about them, you no longer are going to be affected in a negative way emotionally. Okay. Now, one of the practical ways you can do this, if you can, is to their face, forgive them to their face. Uh, and you think, oh, gee, I can't even imagine doing that. Try it. Okay. If you can, if you have the still have a an opportunity to forgive them face to face when you do that something powerful will break over your mind over your heart something more powerful will break over your life now they, do they deserve it maybe maybe not why are you forgiving them right when when in my, in some cases it was their fault right you're not doing it for them you're doing it for you you need to be free of that pain you need to be free of that hurt so if you've got the courage and you can and you do have the connection with that person still just look at them and say hey you know what i forgive you and you watch what happens it'll that the the pain the hurt the mental stronghold will break over your life like that and you'll be free then emotionally to move on to your future the third so that's for, uh, forgiveness all right make sure you forgive that person number three the second, third thing you do is find a mentor. Find someone that you can connect with and talk to. Right? Don't be an island because you'll find you'll make mistakes. You'll make if you're just by yourself and you're trial and error in it, right? So everything's a trial and error. I'm just gonna try this, try that, try this, try that. Without counsel, without without input, without a person in your life that you trust, that you like, that you respect, who has maybe it preferably been through what you've been through and come out the other side relatively healthy uh, mentally physically whatever and, and can speak into your situation and give you a steer or a roadmap or a pathway to walk down find that mentor if you can because they are invaluable to your life so number three is to find a mentor and number four my fourth tip I'm gonna give you a fourth I said three but it's gonna be four right so number three is mentor and the fourth one is, which is absolutely critical, particularly this time of year, in the early part of the year, in a brand new year, is to write down what you want. Write down your vision, right? So my question to you is, what is your vision? What do you see for your, what do you see? What do you see for your future? Now, uh, you, you might be in a place right now where, You've been looking in recent times so much into your past and through the rear view mirror of your life that you haven't spent a lot of time exercising the vision muscle, particularly if you've gone through a recent breakdown, a recent setback, and you're re relatively raw from that. It's so easy to spend most of your mental focus on the past, but to move on and to fast track your mighty comeback, you've got to have a clear vision of what you're looking to or what you're wanting to achieve, all right? And it doesn't have to be grandiose. It doesn't have to be huge, right? Although it can be. But what do you want to achieve this time next week? What do you want to achieve each day? Write down at the start of each day three of the most important things that you need to get done today in your comeback journey to overcome what you're looking to overcome and to make measurable progress in reasonable time towards what you desire for your future. You know, there's a principle which says what you think about, you bring about. What's in your heart is what you bring forth. What you emotionalize generally turns up in your life, positive or negative. So make sure that it's so critical. And I had to learn this, to emotionally focus on a desired outcome that I wanted to happen, that I was in love with. Okay, and I'm not talking about another relationship, although that might be it. But it's more around what type of life do you want to have, right? And this is not easy to do if you've had a lick of the ice cream before. If you've had a nice life before and you've lost it all um, or lost part of it, it's hard to get up off the canvas and try and refocus again on what you want. But can I encourage you to spend some time, intentional time, writing down what it is you do want 
and not what you don't want okay in the five key areas of your life which I think they're five areas that need you need to get right is number one your faith if you have one if you don't have a faith don't worry about it family fitness finance and fun they're five key areas that you need to I think have clearly defined goals in in those five key areas of life faith family fitness finance and fun because they're all sort of connected and related to each other but having a clear mental picture of what you want to achieve in each of these five key areas of your life it's emotional it's something you, that really means a lot to you because what will happen is what you focus on and what you think about you'll bring about in your life there's a 2000 year old principle which says as a, as a man thinketh or a woman as a man or woman thinketh in their heart so are they so it's not what you think in your head it's what you think in your heart that turns up in your world okay but you can consciously decide what you want to achieve and then allow the emotion of that to influence who you are and what you're focused on and use pictures and diagrams and get a vision board and stick pictures of what you want to achieve up so you're seeing it every day and it's amazing when you fall in love with your future how your body then takes over and just looks for opportunities to, to make it happen and it's amazing how then those opportunities do turn up in your life so that number four is get a vision so recapping number one control what you can control don't worry about the things you don't you can't control because you can't control them why would you spend emotional mental energy worrying about things you have no control over that makes no sense whatsoever number two is make sure you forgive that person who's hurt you or people that have hurt you number three find a mentor and a coach someone who can speak life into your world and give you a steer on how to navigate through the tough times right and number four find a vision get it have a vision for your life make sure that you can um, can clearly define what it is you're after on paper written down so you can then look at it every day and get emotionally involved in your future hey if you like this video make sure you subscribe to the channel in the descriptions panel below I've got uh, some help for you free downloads one of those is my 10 breakthrough steps these are 10 breakthrough steps that I took in my world to help me fast track my comeback I will email them to you straight into your, e into your inbox click on the link in the descriptions panel and I'll be able to email those to you the other link there in the descriptions panel is a link to my free webinar have a look at that it's a, it's a webinar that I talk about keys to overcoming keys to breaking free keys to making a mighty comeback in your life because the truth is your best days are ahead so thank you for joining me today I hope you've got something from this video and until next time I'll see you on the next one bye for now